much everyone for staying with us. We are back and this is your Gold Governorship Debate 2016 coming to you live on channels television and across some of the platforms. Uh, those of uh, our partners who have hooked up to us tonight. Three candidates out of the four we've invited tonight have shown up. The candidate of the uh, Alliance for Demo uh, Democracy, uh, Mr. Lucia Lauke, uh, Mr. Jimmy Ibrahim of the People's Democratic Party, and Dr. Olu Agun Loye of the SEP are all here tonight. Mr. Rotimi Akeredolu of the APC is not here. Well, we continue now. This segment will be looking at your past records and your fitness for office. Let me start with you, uh, Mr. Olushala. Okay, uh, a lot of people will say that you're perhaps not politically stable. Uh, in the last three years or so, you have held membership of three different political parties. Uh, do you think the voters will trust you considering that you jump ship at every time that you're not happy with the situation in your party? Thank you very much. I think the starting point is to look at my political career. I've been in politics for 31 years. I've never changed political party. But I changed political party last year and this year. I have not changed party three times. I was in PDP for 16 years. And I was there. I rose to the highest level of being the national legal advisor of the party. On the platform of that party, I contested the election. When the ship of the PDP was nose diving, especially where I was the foremost leader of the party at the state level, it got to a point at the turn of events when a new leadership emerged, and because of incompatibility and to avoid conflict, wastefulness of resources, I decided to opt for the APC. The APC promised us and promised Nigerian corruption-free primary, transparency in governance, accountability, and to put food on the table of every Nigerian. But its primary turned out to be the most corrupt, the most translucent, and for what I stand for, it became unacceptable for me. In that regard, I have to part way with the heavily loaded corruption party called the APC. I found out that the contraption called APC was a deception, that it lacks the capacity to give to Nigeria all that it promised. I could not be part of that deception, so I decided to go for the Alliance for Democracy. All right. Therefore, Mr. Now, Lushen, okay. those state people who yep. know me very well Your time continue to trust me, and my departure was on the basis of their invitation. Yep. So they will trust me. Your time is up. I did say that in three, in the last three years, you've held membership of three different parties. You moved from the People's Democratic Party to ABC, I was in PDP and now you are in AB. Sixteen years, not three years. Sixteen years. I said in the last three years, you've held membership of three different political parties. That, I guess, is correct. You have also confirmed I... it. But if we continue now, uh, let me do a follow-up quickly on the membership uh, and you as a politician. Uh, your party after the 2012 election congratulated the winner then, Mr. Lushegun Mimigo. But you did not seem to be happy with that. You said, and I quote you now, you said, I am sure that those who congratulated Mimiko were not in Ondo State on the election day. Mr. Oke, if you lose this election, would you congratulate the winner? Come again. Should you lose this election, would you congratulate the winner? What I'll congratulate the winner? First and foremost, I'm believing the Almighty that I'm going to win the election. All we are urging on the INEC is to conduct an election that is credible, that is free and fair. I assure you, if I lose the election in the unlikely event of my losing it, then I'll congratulate the winner. My take is that let the election be free and fair. We have been hearing lately people boasting that even if it's one vote, that they will be declared the winner. If one is declared the winner against 
the desire of the people of Ondo State against the rule of conducting election, of course, as a lawyer, I will challenge it. But if the election were to be conducted freely and fairly, I will concede victory and I will congratulate whoever emerges. Thank you. Let's quickly move to Mr. Jim Ibrahim. Uh, a lot of people will wonder, how long have you been in the PDP on which uh, platform you're running now? How long? Yeah. I've been here for over eight years. In the PDP? Oh, yes. Uh, a lot of people will uh, maybe don't know that. Some people think that you've just uh, entered into the People's Democratic Party. Some people even believe that you are a spoiler that you actually don't even want to run for office, you just want to situation for your party. Is that so? Thank you very much, Sheo. People believe, they, they, they forget the history very fast. 2003, I contested for the position of the governorship of Ondo State under the All Nigeria People's Party. As a matter of fact, in time of governorship race, with respect to my brothers here, I'm the oldest in this race. I contested against Babalit Adifarati and Dr. Olusek Wagago. Suffice to say that in that election, I put 215,000 votes, and the incumbent had 220,000 votes. That was Baba Adifarati. You can see the margin was very close. Agago was the winner. Now, when I joined PDP in this very state, in Akure, the President Olusek Wagago was the one that received me at the park with five governors and from there if you look at the political trajectory i started bringing life to the pdp i bought the 18 buses that is being used at local government level in the last seven years i started a rally putting 10 million naira pass my rally in about 10 major towns in on those states governor lucia gumimigo joined pdp just recently and he phoned me when we go to join that I'm coming to the party and I told him, you are welcome. Now, my brother, uh, Jekede, joined the party after he resigned as Attorney General of Ondo State three months ago. So I am the oldest papa of PDP in Ondo State. It, it is interesting, uh, Mr. Ibrahim, because um, when we wonder uh, that you are in court right now and uh, a lot of things are still because under your name or just across your name on INEC register is written court order and uh, a lot of people will wonder where does that leave the voters who are looking to probably vote for you they may be thinking that is it a vote in crisis no it's a vote in stability it's a vote in development is a vote in justice, is a vote in hope. When we were in court, we were in court with the other party. We won at the Federal High Court, we won at the Court of Appeal, and we're going to win at the Supreme Court. The issue here is about the, the local standard of the candidates standing election. What we are saying, our argument, is that you cannot, as an individual, you know, pursue INEC for not putting your name in the electoral uh, candidature of PDP. Now, what we are saying is that the Electoral Act does not allow for independent candidates, candidacy of any political party. So you don't have the locals. You should bring application. It should be brought on behalf of your political party. You can't bring it in your person. And that has been the law. The law will never change. And that is why I'm always winning right, thank you so at much. every stage. Mr. So I'm not a spoiler. I'm a developer. Thank, thank you so you. much.